Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is how to use Jira for beginners. So without any further ado, let's get started. Jira is a part of a family of products designed to help teams to manage all their work. Originally, Jira was designed as a bug and issue tracker, which means testing teams were the primary user for the Jira. And if I talk about particularly software development teams and software development industry was the prime user of this tool. But today, Jira has evolved into a powerful work management tool for all kind of work. And now you can use it for use cases, requirements, test cases, management, and other type of your business work as well. So before jumping into the Jira, I would recommend you to go through our previous video, which is how to use Trello for beginners. You will find that video in the description of this video as well, or you can go to our channel and watch that video because it will help you to have a better idea about how project management tools work before diving into something advanced like Jira. So we will start over the sign up process. To sign up into the Jira, just write atlassian.com slash software slash Jira into any of your favorite browser. And after that, click on this button which says get it free. And here you have multiple options to choose with which you can sign up for your Jira account. Either you can use any of these account or you can go with your email address. I'm going with my email address. I will just write my email address here. And after that, I will click on continue. After that, enter your password and then click on this login button. And now again, it will take you back to this page. Now click on get it free. And here we have to name our project for which we are using this Jira. I will write here skills build family and after that i'll click on this agree button now we need to select the type of team we are so we have human resource sales software development operation and different other option and if an option which is related to your work is not there you can always go with this one which says other i'm going with software development i will click on it and after that it is asking for the sub category i'm going with development manager I'll click on it. Now it is setting up our Jira account for our use. And now we need to select the tool which we use the most. I will skip this step. So I will just click here. And now from here, we can invite different people into our team. So we just need to enter their email address. And after that, we will hit on this button which says continue. So what will happen that those people would get an email with an invitation link to join my team on Jira. I will just continue and now it says I am dash to Jira mean we are new or we are experienced. I'm going with new to Jira. Now my team is experienced with agile methodologies and now it says we spend our time working on I'm going with features and here it says we have a dash schedule to finish our work. I'm going with tight one. And after that, I will just click on next. And from here, we have to use a template for our Jira. We have three options, Kanban, Scrum and bug tracking. I'm going with Scrum. I will just click on it. And now I will name the project for which I want to use my Jira account. I will name it as front end development. And here we will get the key for our project. You can change this key as well. I will keep it as it is. And after that, I will click on this button which says create. So this is the default dashboard which we get after we are done with every step of our sign up process. Now I will go into my backlog section. I will click on it. And here we have different options. It says only my issues and it says recently updated. In here, I will have all the issues which have been opened into my project. But as we have just created our project, so at the moment we will not have any issues. And here it says epics and versions. I will click on epics. And now I will create on this link which says create epic. And here it says issue type. So it is a story type. 
at the moment i am going with story so i will just select this option and after that i will write the summary of this story i will write here complete the design and development of front end of sign up page and after that i'll click on create so we have created one story successfully after that i will again click on this link and i will create one more story so again i will go for story and after that i will enter the information about that story here i will write complete the page design for add to cart page now i will again click on create so we have successfully created two stories now what we need to do we need to add those story into some kind of sprint so for that let me just close this one and now what i will do i will create a sprint here here is a button which says create sprint i will just click on it so for those who do not know what sprint means sprint is a time frame which our team or our company has decided and that time can be one week two week or it can be a month so it means it is a time frame which you set in which you want to have a particular amount of working so let me show you what i actually mean so what i will do now i will just add those two stories which i have just created and i will add those stories into my newly created sprint i will drag this and i will drop this one as well and here you can see that now i have two stories into my sprint so here now we have a button which says start sprint so if i click on it from here we can set the duration for our sprint by default it's a two week you can go with one week two week three week four week or even you can go with the custom so i'm going with one week so here automatically it will take the date and you can rename your sprint as well after that i will just click on start and now we are into our active sprint section here we have two stories which we have created and if you remember i added those stories into my sprint so at the moment these stories are under the to do section which means this needs to be done yet and here if i click on this here we have more option related to my story here and you can see here it says attach create subtask and link issues means you can attach different attachments here different files here which are related to your story or you can create subtask for this story as well and here what you will do you will create an issue mean while you were performing or you were doing this story and you faced some issue what you can do you can link that issue with this story here and now i will create a subtask with respect to my this story and i will write here complete the design first and now i will click on create so we have created a subtask into our story and here we have different other options as well here it says assignee mean to whom you want to assign this subtask so if i click on it i will have the list of people which are in my team or you can say which are in my jira and i will be able to assign this subtask to that particular person after that it says reporter mean to whom this person will report to for example if i have assigned this task to xyz person and then xyz person will report to muhammad zubair so in case if xyz faces some issues or in case if he or she has completed the task then reporter which is muhammad zubair will be the concerned person for xyz to report to and after that we have labels then we have story points and then we have several other options here which we can include into our story here so for now i will just close this one and here you can see that we have successfully added our task with our stories into our sprint here and if you notice it is under the to do section what it means that it is still to be done yet and no one has started working on it and for example if someone come and he or she start working on it what she or he will do he or she will just drag it and drop it under the in progress section mean this work is under the progress and in case this work has been completed what he or she will do he or she will just drag it and drop it under the done section and now what it means it means this work has been done and here you can see we have a line appeared on our fd3 means this work has been completed and now what he or she will do he or she will start working on next story or next sub task 
for that he or she will just drag it and drop it into the in progress section and he or she will continue to do so so that was about how we can work with our sprints and now if i go to my issue section here i will just click on it and here i will have all the issues which are related to my stories and my subtask and my task here so for example your team member was working on some story or task or subtask which was assigned to him or her and he or she faced some issue so what she or he will do he or she will create an issue and they will just attach it and all those issues will appear here so at the moment we do not have any issue because we did not have started working on any of the task or subtask yet if i click on my open issues it will show me the issues which i have opened or which are assigned to me and then we have reported by me if i click on it what it will show it will show me the issues which i have reported to my team members and then we have several other options like open issues done issues viewed recently and several other options and in done issues we will have those issues which have been sorted out and now i will click on my code section it will offer different repositories which we can use into our project for example you were working on something and you used some open source repositories like bitbucket github and gitlab use the code from those open source resources what it will allow you it will allow you to connect those repositories into your project directly this is very good feature in jira now i will click on this section which says releases in case you are working on a project which has several versions or several releases so what you will do you will create different versions for different releases i will click on this create version button and i will name it as front end design and after that i can set start date and even i can set end date so after setting start and release date i will just click on save and now i will have the information about what have been done and what has been delivered to the client and before ending this jira dashboard tour i want to tell you about one more important feature here and that is people if i click on it here we have invite a team and start a team option in start a team what we will do we will add those people which have been added into our jira and we can make a team of those people and here it says invite a teammate means from here you can invite different people into your jira project if you remember when we were signing up we also had that option at that time and i skipped that option at that time so i am going with invite a teammate so what it will do it will ask me to enter the email address of the people to whom i want to add in this project so i will write the email address of that person after that i will just click on invite teammates and now that person will get an email with an invitation link again if i click on this button and now if i click on start a team now what i will do i will name my team here and in here i will add those people in this team which have been already added into my jira project so this is how cool and easy it is to have team members and how we can make different teams so this was all about the dashboard of our jira now let's talk about the pricing scheme of our jira so for that i will open new tab and i will write here jira price scheme and just open first link i will just click on it and it will take us to a page where we will have all the information about the packages and pricing and here you can see we have four different packages first one is free then we have standard then premium and at the end we have enterprise package in free one we do not have to pay anything in standard we have to pay seven dollar per user and in premium we have to pay fourteen dollar and this is all on the basis of months if you go with annual and here you can see it is now 700 in enterprise we do not have any price here for that we need to contact sales team because we will get some custom plans in here if i scroll down here i will have all the information of the features which i will be getting in each plan so if you go further down you will have more information about each plan so this is the feature which says centralized per user licensing which is not available in any of the plan but in the enterprise one so this was all about the pricing 
and that's it for this video in this video we talked about how to use jira for beginners i have shown you how to sign up how to create projects and then i have shown you how to create different stories tasks and then how to add those tasks and stories into a sprint after that i have also talked about the pricing range and different packages of jira so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will see you in another video. Till then, take care.